Why NCIS has two spin-offs coming now for Tony, Zivla, and Gibbs fans, according to one head honcho. There's been a lot for fans of the NCIS franchise to enjoy these past several months, as NCIS and NCIS Hawaii are both currently airing on the 2024 TV schedule and NCIS. Sydney debuted late last year. In addition to Sydney being renewed for season two and the two other shows likely to return as well, two more NCIS spin-offs are on the way. NCIS Origins, which follows a young Leary Jethro Gibbs and an untitled series focused on Tony Danazzo and Ziva David. So how did these two upcoming shows come to be? CBS Studios president David Staff has opened up on the subject. Starting off, NCIS. Origins' existence was revealed to the world back in January, with the forthcoming CBS show set to follow Gibbs, originally played by Mark Harmon on NCIS, joining the law enforcement agency in 1991, specifically a few months after his first wife and daughter were murdered. In an interview with Deadline alongside CBS Entertainment President Amy Reisenbach, staff explained how Harmon, his son's scene, and a couple writers came to CBS with the idea for this prequel, saying, In the case of Origins, Mark and Scene Harmon had this idea with writers, David North and Gina Monreal, and they brought it to us. I was like, oh my gosh, this idea is great. Commissioned a script, the script was even better. So it's like, okay, can this show exist within the framework of the franchise we have? And we do believe it can, particularly because it's a prequel. And because NCIS has been on for so long and Mark's been gone for a while, there's genuine interest in, how did Gibbs become Gibbs? Who was that guy? So again, there was an organic reason to do it versus us just saying, let's just throw on another NCIS. Mark Harmon departed NCIS in season 19's fourth episode in 2021, and while it remains to be seen if he'll ever return to the flagship show, evidently he still cared about Larry Jeffro Gibbs enough to want to have a hand in NCIS. Origins Fortunately for him, Scene, North and Monreal, CBS was game to give the franchise's first prequel a spin. In addition to his executive producing duties, Harmon will narrate the series, but Reisenbach expressed doubt that the actor will appear as Gibbs in Flash Forwards. Austin Stowell will play the younger Gibbs in Origins, and he'll be joined by Mario Molino as Special Agent Lala Dominguez. Then there's this Tony and Ziva spinoff, which, rather than first airing on CBS like the other NCIS shows, will be streamed exclusively to Paramount Plus subscribers. Although Cote de Pablo reprised Ziva David in the NCIS season 16 final and recurred in season 17, and Michael Weatherly recently reprised Tony Danazzo in the episode, paying tribute to the late David McCallum's Ducky Mallard, this series will mark the first time the actors have starred together on screen since de Pablo left NCIS main cast in 2013. Staff shared the following about why it was worth giving these characters their own show. Tony and Ziva, it's one of the most unrequited love stories for the audience. The audience loved Tony and Ziva. And in the audience's mind, and in our mind, they left too soon. So reuniting them with a global audience is the intent on that show. And because it's going to be on Paramount+, Plus, it can exist within the universe without, in our minds, cannibalizing anything else. Despite not having been seen together on screen in over a decade, we know that Tony and Ziva are now together and raising their daughter Tally. This spin-off will follow the couple going on the run after Tony's security company is attacked. Stapp said later on in the Deadline interview that Weatherly and De Pablo had been talking about his show for years and years and years after they'd both left NCIS, then cooked up the rough edges of the idea and went to writer John McNamara to help them flesh it out. Because Tiva is arguably one of TV's most popular ships, fans kept asking the actors when they'd be paired back together again. So as Staff sees it, there was an organic reason for this show to exist. It was almost like a fan demand for it. Neither NCIS, Origins, nor the Tony and Ziva spin-off have assigned premiere dates yet, but both will shoot later this year, and Origins is specifically expected to be part of the 2024-2025 TV season. Keep checking back with CinemaBlend for updates on their progress. Mark Harmon's future NCI's return and potential origins appearance addressed by CBS exec. CBS Entertainment president Amy Reisenbach comments on the possibility of Mark Harmon returning as Larry Jeffro Gibbs to the NCI's universe.
His UMARE. The NCIS franchise leaves the door open for Mark Harmon's Gibbs to return, with the potential for flash-forward storylines and special reunions. NCIS. Origins will explore Gibbs' early years with Harmon narrating, but his on-screen return remains uncertain. Gibbs' absence allows for creative storytelling opportunities, like backdoor pilots and crossovers to bring back the beloved character. A CBS executive gets candid about the possibility of Mark Harmon appearing on screen again as Larry Jeffro Gibbs in the evolving NCIS franchise. In its first two decades, Harmon served as the face of NCIS, spearheading the original team in the Mothership series. While the franchise has moved on since Gibbs retired in NCIS season 19, he remains a fan favorite, hence why conversations regarding whether he might come back have never really died down. In the middle of NCIS continued expansion, which includes two forthcoming spin-offs, CBS Entertainment president Amy Reisenbach comments on the possibility of Harmon's return in a new interview with Deadline. One of the upcoming projects is spearheaded by the actor, NCIS. Origins will tackle Gibbs' early years at Camp Pendleton. While young Gibbs has been recast as Austin Stowell, Harmon will provide the narration, but there's no word on whether he'll appear in person. Read Reisenbach's full comment below. The door for Mark is always open. It's really up to him. In terms of flash-forwards, I don't think it's something we've talked about that doesn't feel like the DNA of that show to me, at least right now. But you never know, when we're in season 10, we're taking creative risks and having fun. So if that's something Gina and David wanted to tackle down the road, we'd be open to it. Where Mark Harmon's Leary Jeffro Gibbs may appear in the NCI's universe. The way Gibbs was written out of NCIS not only fits with the character's arc, but also allows the show to easily reincorporate him into the universe at any point. Ducky's tribute episode in season 21 felt like the perfect opportunity to bring back the character, considering his longtime friendship with the former medical examiner turned historian. That being said, Gibbs' absence turned out to be a blessing in disguise, since the outing only left a couple of minutes for a big cameo, which ended up being Michael Weatherly's Tony Dinozzo. Moving forward, there are a few ways that NCIS can bring Gibbs back after spending the last couple of years in Alaska. The first is through a backdoor pilot for NCIS, Origins. One of the perks of the franchise's interconnected storytelling is being able to do crossover episodes. The Mothership series is no stranger to being a launching pad for its spin-offs. Gibbs coming back to his old office for a case that eventually prompts him to start ruminating about his early years at NCIS would be the perfect way to do it. Another option is a special reunion for Gibbs, Tony, and Cote de Pablo Ziva. While both former special agents have returned to the show since their respective departures, they still haven't shared the screen again with their former leader and quasi-father. Seeing the three of them together again would be a big treat for longtime viewers. This reunion of sorts would also be a great jumping point for the three XNCI's cast members before they go on their respective spin-offs.